want to know how to prank, I've got fantastic birthday prank ideas for you to pull on your friends and family. Check them out. So for this prank, it's the pinata cockroach pranks. All you got to do is get some of these fake cockroaches, get them at prankkits.com, fill the entire pinata up with cockroaches, hang it up, and when the person's blindfolded and they're banging this pinata and everyone's around waiting for the candy to drop, it's nothing but cockroaches. going to scare the crap out of everyone at the party. Check it out. Whoa, dude, can you imagine? Oh, that'd be so scary. Yo, the kids would jump so hard. They would see all these bugs come out, and they'd freak out. It's freaking me out. Completely grossed out with all these bugs. <gasps> what would you do? This is the bait solo cup prank. All you need are fishing lines, scissors, and some cups. So the idea is you're gonna pick one cup out of many, right, sitting out at the birthday table. People are walking up to get drinks and stuff like that. And you're gonna rig one of these cups with tape. To do that, just take some scotch tape or whatever and tape the fishing line to the table. Next, take the empty cup and you're gonna tape the fishing line to the bottom of the empty cup. Okay, now you're rigged. All right, you wanna make sure that they can't see the tape underneath, so after you get it all set up, put the cup down so you can kinda outline where the cup will be sitting so you can kinda hide at least the majority of the tape so they don't see it. Now you wanna take your fishing line and you also wanna kinda tuck that away under the cup as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect though because no one's gonna really pay too much attention to what's underneath the cup, especially when there's a lot of options. They're at the party, they're focused, they're distracted, that's good enough. Make sure you fill it up with some beverage and make sure all the other cups around are filled up with beverage. So basically, it's a trap. It's a bait trap. People are gonna walk up, they're gonna grab a cup and go. Grab a cup and go. Someone's gonna come up to the cup that you set up. And when they go to grab the cup and go, it drops off oh, on my phone. Oh man, man, oh that sucks. All right, for this prank, you're gonna surprise the birthday boy or girl with some gluten-free cake that's completely fake. Everything, it's free from everything. All you gotta do, is add some chocolate icing to this big shoe box, basically, and make them think they got a yummy cake and it's gluten-free. And then add a little bit of sprinkles to kind of really sell it. The colorful sprinkles are the best. So now we have a real gluten-free cake. There's zero fat, zero carbs, absolutely zero, well, I guess it's all in the icing, but that's between you and I. But then when someone tries to go take a bite, there's nothing there. It's just a box. What? This is the cake face prank. Check it out. So what you're gonna need for this prank is a table that has no top on it, right? Just take the tabletop off. And then get a piece of cardboard, put it on top, and we're gonna cut a hole right down the middle. So you don't ruin any table, and this is a super cheap and easy way for you to pull this prank off. Check it out. You're gonna want a hole in the table, so you don't want it too big where your cake falls through, so trace an outline of your hand because that's what's going through the hole. That way the cake will fit on top and you can still push through the hole. Now that you have your hole cut out of your fake table, you wanna place your cake on there to make sure that it's not gonna fall through. Once you size your cake up and fits the hole on your table, get one of these cheap tabletop covers. They're literally like 50 cents for a cover. Place your cake right on top where the hole, see the hole? Boom. Now what you're gonna do is get someone to come over to get a piece of cake, get underneath the table. Now you're underneath the table, you're completely hidden. You have your hole right here, okay? And once someone comes up, your buddy's on the phone, says, now, pop the cake up through the hole and hit him right in the face. Let's test it out. Oh, what a mess. This is a messy prank. Prank at your own risk. And make sure this is the backup cake. Don't do this with the real birthday cake. You don't want to ruin the party. Happy birthday. All right, for this prank, it's the pinata water balloon. What you're gonna do is set up your pinata, one that's not broken, and the person swinging the stick thinks they're gonna hit this pinata. When they're blindfolded, switch out the pinata with a water balloon and watch them strike the water balloon and get water all over themselves. Check it out. All right, for this birthday prank, it's perfect to gross everybody out before the party. You're gonna get some of these fake flies. It's so simple. Make everyone think that the cake is infested with flies. Just put them on top, just like so. I think this cake just hatched 
giant egg of flies. So there you go. Now the flies are on the cake. Take the clear topper, put it right back on there, and literally it looks like this cake gave birth to a bunch of flies. And to make the prank continue, take the cake back to the grocery store and ask the people at the grocery store, yo, what's up with this cake? Are those toppings? This birthday prank is super annoying. You're gonna give your buddy a birthday card and this card is a very special birthday card. It's very meaningful because when you pull this tab, it's ready to go. And you let your buddy know, okay, look, man, I got you this message on this card. He presses the message. So once they press the button, the noise comes out and it won't stop. This goes on forever until the battery dies. It may stop for a little bit, then it'll come back on. It just doesn't stop. And then the guy's gonna sit there and go, why doesn't this stop? What the heck? How do I get this to stop? I'm gonna open this up. Oh, it's a glitter bomb. These things won't stop. They're super messy. They're glitter bombs with annoying chirps that don't stop. And the only way to get them to stop is to tear them open, get glitter bombs, and then have a huge mess, and then finally throw this thing away. All right, so obviously, just throwing away does not work. You're gonna have to go in there, and you're gonna have to clip the wire. I'll cut this wire, here we go. Ah. Got it. All right, this is a gift card prank. You're gonna take a gift card for your friend or family member's birthday. You're gonna put it right there. But you're gonna put it inside a really nice, expensive box. So someone's gonna think, oh my God, did you give me an iPhone 5? No. So you're just gonna put this super glue on each side of this box to make it such a pain in the butt to open because it's not gonna be easy opening this box covered in super glue. Oh yeah, dude, this, isn't, this is not opening. This box will forever be sealed. So now you super glued the box containing your gift card. Now super glue the gift wrap to the box. Just make it just a miserable way of opening this present. And then they're gonna think, oh my gosh, I went through all this hard work to get an iPhone 5. They're so great. I'll tell you what, it does make wrapping it much easier. All right, so now when they go to open this present, right, this is literally super glued. Like, that doesn't even, doesn't even come off. It's like, okay, you glued it shut, there's no tape. Well, this is like torture. Oh, like, what is it? I don't even know. Oh, they're gonna see the apple sign right here. There's the apple sign. So this is kind of exciting to get them to keep tearing, right? All right, look, so now they go, oh, look at that. Oh, an iPhone, are you serious? This is so exciting. Oh, I always needed the iPhone. Holy crap, you cannot get the box to budge. It will not move. All right, so now we're just gonna have to try and pry it open. So I really want the iPhone. Open it. It's like seriously sealed. Oh my god. Finally. Why did you do this to me? Not even headphones or a charging cable. Literally, just an empty box with a Caraba card. All right, for this prank, same concept as the gift card box, except we're gonna put a fart bag inside this wrapper, and then hopefully they wrestle with the wrapper to detonate the fart bag. No prank guaranteed on this one. Prank at your own risk and be ready, because they're gonna be mad when they smell the whole room up. Check it out. It's a present. What is that? Stink bomb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, oh, oh, that is not a joke. That stink bomb is wow. Oh. Let me know which one of these birthday pranks was your favorite in the comments below. Shock Squad, zap that thumbs up button. Let me know where you're at. Let me see you guys zap the button up, up. How many thumbs ups can we get? Live inspired, shock the world. I'll see you next time.